My name is Scott Moore. I'm the owner of Bellevue Fine Art Reproduction. And today I'm going to walk you through how we built this spray booth. We built a spray booth in order to uh, do the finishing for our G-Clay canvases where we spray UV uh, coatings. And we posted it on YouTube and we've had quite a few um, people ask us how we actually built the spray booth. So let me begin first by telling you where uh, we got the inspiration from. Um, I was playing air hockey with my son at a game center and I realized all of a sudden that what I really needed was an air hockey table only in reverse and started to wonder how is it that they got the suction in the table um, to be even all the way across the table and I figured that they must be doing channeling underneath. So from that came the idea of uh, building a spray booth. So what we've started with here is um, I've started with six inch square plastic fence, fence posts and what we did was we glued those and made a rectangle into the wall. Um, so the rectangle represents the area where the spray booth is going to be. And then we drilled holes on the outside of where the pegboard is going to be and on the inside of where the pegboard is going to be to draw and create a suction through the fence posts. Um, so you've got holes on the front side and holes on the back side. Um, next what we did was we put a hole in the center um, of the spray booth, a hole to the outside, and we ordered a 4,500 CFM fan. Um, now it was, it was important for us to get um, not only a strong fan but a variable speed controlled fan. Some fans can be con uh, controlled with variable speed controller and others can't. So the one that we um, opted with here for a table that um, it's about 10 feet long by um, 40, about 42 inches high on the inside, um, we ended up with a 4,500 CFM fan con uh, and then a variable speed controller to go on it. Um, now for the channeling what we did was in between the pegboard as you can see here in between the pegboard and the hole where the fan goes, there's another board. And that board has channels in it that looks like a maze. Um, and we sort of just did this by trial and error. We built this maze behind that so that air draws um, somewhat evenly across the entire table so you don't have hot spots in the table where canvas would get sucked too hard um, into the pegboard and, and cause dimples. Um, and that was basically it. Um, afterwards we put the pegboard on um, and we used a silicone caulking to caulk the, the edges of it and then we get a nice even draw throughout the entire table. Um, we're able to hang up canvases um, without the clips, so the clips are a, a really nice feature because once you're done spraying and the room's cleared, um, it's really nice to be able to turn off the fan and let, let your canvases just hang there on the clips um, as they dry. Um, so that is, in a nutshell, how we built the sp uh, spray booth. We've got um, six inch squ uh, square plastic fence, po fence posts. Uh, we've got some plywood um, and some one by two wood that we use for the channels. We've got a 4,500 CFM uh, variable speed controlled fan and we've got a variable speed controller. Um, I think if I were to do anything differently at all, it would simply be to build a better um, hood. As you can see right now, there's a shelf across the top of it. I think I would have built a hood um, over that with a fan blowing on one side and then a fan blowing out the door uh, for better ventilation inside the spray room. But if we leave the door open and um, have a fan hanging by the door um, between that and the spray booth, it all generally the air clears in. in. Uh, half a minute or so after we're done spraying. So that concludes the video and I hope that people that are looking at building a spray booth uh, find this helpful. Thanks.